Um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yi Fan Ding. I come from University of Central Florida, and uh, it was a nice place. Trust me. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, some supervised two-stage approach to learning from noise labels. And uh, this work is in collaborate with Tencent AI Lab. So our purpose is to deal with the noise labels brought by web collected training data. So sometimes the noise labels are hard to be distinguished. We use c turn to show the case. Consider two similar categories, cat and dog. The images framed with red boxes are actually sampled from the other category. And even by human eyes, we are hard to be, they are hard to be distinguished. But sometimes it is also easy to find the noisy ones, like in the closing one M data set. There are many images that are actually gens, but they are labeled as jacket. So to solve the problem of the both cases, some try to correct the wrong labels. Uh, but during the correcting process, sometimes we give the wrongly labeled samples correct labels. For example, here dark is correct. But on the contrary, for the second sample here, we change the correct label to be wrong. To avoid this problem, some try to reweight each sample during training. For some samples, we give them a proper weight, but it is also possible that we may underweight some clean samples and that they will never have the chance to express their future during training. To avoid the previous two drawbacks, we proposed our approach. So first, we identify a very small portion of the data point as the labeled set. Uh, we think their labels are very likely to be correct, mainly based on the probabilities and uh, the, their original labels. Uh, then we remove the labels of other samples and, the mar and mark them as the unlabeled set. Next, we apply a semi-supervised learning approach among the two sets. In this approach, cross-entropy loss is applied to the labeled set, and uh, the consistence loss is applied to both sets. So finally, we get the model for test. Uh, we compared our method with the previous paper, which follows the same experimental setting here. In the table, uh, the three columns refer to the percentage of images with correct labels, images with incorrect labels, and images with no labels. The first row shows the original percentage, which is 17 to 13. And the second and the third row shows the percentage of the loss correction approach uh, with two uh, metrics, agmax and the sampling. The last row is our result after stage one. We can find that although our method leaves a lot of uh, samples as unlabeled, but the label set we found is quite clean and uh, we'll be able to guide the training. So, and the uh, Experimental performance also proved the rationality of our approach. We compare the performance of our approach with several other, appro other methods on c and MNIST. Uh, each row refers to an approach and uh, each column refers to a different noise rate. We can find that our approach achieved the state of the art among many noise rates, especially when the noise rate is very high. Besides, we also apply our model to a real noise data set made of real images, namely the closing 1M data set. And with or without fine tuning with the provided small clean set, our approach still exceeds the previous best result. So for more information, please refer to our paper and the poster. That's it. Thank you.